So, we just did a video about the computer game 2048, if you haven't played it, link is in the description. Uh, but we got to a point where we were talking about artificial intelligence completing the game, and um, we skimmed over how that is done, so we thought we'd go into a bit more detail. Yeah, because, well, we want to. Yeah. <laughs> so there's no, there's no rules now, there's, there's no structure to this whatsoever. It's unscripted. Um, so, um, James um, is unfamiliar with this stuff, so I'm going to try and explain to James. All right. All right. Now, instead of... Pretend uh, I'm stupid. Okay, uh, that should be easy. Okay. So, um, I was quick. I was done. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Carry on. Uh, now, the, uh, well, I'm going to show you the classic way of programming a computer to play a game. Uh, and I will use noughts and crosses as an, as an example, or tic-tac-toe. Our American uh, friends, um, and the way you do this is um, let's take a look at, as, as if you're halfway through the game um, of noughts and crosses. So the, the board is full um, of some stuff like that. Um, okay, that's a, probably a bad example, but let me let me just let me yeah okay we'll just okay so go on right. we'll go with it we'll go with it go so, on no no takes yeah. no, no. <laughs> this is a, this is a state of the game okay and you have a choice to make uh, of, of where you put your piece so I've got these three places that I could put um, my my paint piece so let's say so I've got three options that will lead right. to three entirely new game states right right um, ignore the details <laughs> um, and then your opponent is going to make a move as well so your opponent um, has probably is only going to have two options left. So uh, one, two, uh, one, two, one, two, and we'll have uh, these new game right. states here, so like this. Let me just be stupid for a while. So you, there's three possible because there's three possible yeah, empty exactly. towns, yeah. So these are the three possible decisions you can make, yeah. and then your opponent has two left. Yeah. So they've got okay. Now, in reality, because the way I've drawn it, most of these will lead to someone winning before we get to the bottom, but try and ignore okay. what I've actually drawn in here. That's uh, purely for artistic <laughs> purposes. So, um, we can have a look now. So, suppose this is now the end of the game, right? Because, well, actually it is. There are no more moves that can be made. So you can analyse each one of these and see whether you won, lost, or drew, and assign a value to that game state. So suppose in this state uh, I won the game, so I'd give that a value of one. Uh, in this state I... Because you won it. Because I won okay. it. Okay. I won the game. Um, <laughs> in this version, in this outcome, it was a draw, so I'll give it zero. In this outcome, I minus won the game. Because you're negative <laughs> about losing, and losing the, the game. game. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so let's, keep, let's put a one in there, and a zero in there, and a, and a minus one in there. Okay, so... We now know what, how ideally the game would go, uh, how, how it would end up. But we want to know what to do next, because this is our turn here. So, um, we then, so we try and work these numbers back up the chain to figure out what we should do. So you're stage. here and you're thinking ahead. Yeah, so I'm, I'm at this point in the case, I'm analysing to the very end of the game. Okay? So now, this is, this is my opponent. Uh, my opponent has a go now, so my opponent is going to make a choice between these two, or, or these two, or these two. I'm going to assume that my opponent will, will choose the best option for him and the worst option for me. So the best option for him in this scenario is a zero, uh, a draw. So that means that if we got to that stage of the game, this game state is equivalent to a draw, because I know that it's then going to go to there because my opponent is going to choose the best option for him. In this situation, the best option for my opponent is for him to win. So, in this situation, um, this state of the game is equivalent to me losing, because I eventually will. And here it's um, minus one again. God, this is a really, it's a really negative game that I've been playing. But, uh, but anyway, um, so, I now know which is the best choice for me. I shouldn't choose this, I shouldn't choose this, I should choose this one here. Um, and so uh, I've passed the values up the chain so that I can make a decision. The best I can do is a draw. Um, I mean, I can hope, I suppose, for a one, but I know that's not going to happen. Because you... So what you do is, um, you, if your opponent is taking the go, you pass up the lowest value, the minimum value. And if you're taking the go, you pass up the maximum value. So in this case, I can actually assign a value to this state. Right. So this state is actually uh, worth zero, because it's the best of my possible options. Yeah. So I'm always going to choose the best. So to get to this point, actually I had to make choices before I came here, right? 
so there were there were other choices that I could have made before I got here, mm -hmm. um, and suppose these were minus ones um, that I worked out from further down the chain again. That's why I chose this one because again, this is the best option. In that case, the draw was the best thing you could do. Exactly. Unfortunately. Exactly. Right. Or, is there a name for this? This is called minimax, and the reason it's called minimax is because you pass up the minimum values for your opponent's moves, and you pass up the maximum values. So you it's know, not just a clever name. It's not just a clever name, no. Um, and, which is, and so with 2048, when you're playing that game, mm -hmm. what you're doing is swiping the board, and what your opponent is doing is adding fresh tiles. And your opponent is adding fresh tiles randomly. So actually, this isn't a great... Necessarily, this isn't necessarily the best way of analysing 2048, because with Minimax, you're assuming your opponent will make the worst possible move. But that doesn't happen in 2048, unless you play the hard version. <laughs> Link in the description. The other difference between uh, noughts and crosses and 2048 is that with noughts and crosses, you can actually go from the very start of the game and drill down and analyse all the way to the end of the uh -huh. game and then pile back up. And so this game is now complete Yeah, because we can do that. Um, Does it have a name like that? Is it sort of like... I think you say complete. Don't yeah, you? yeah. I mean, that, that sounds like the sort of name they would use. Is that right? It's, it's complete. Is Turing complete? I don't know. <laughs> did, did I ask? Did I ask the wrong question? Yeah, maybe. Um, so, what would you call it? Oh no, I, I imagined. Oh, I okay. Called something like complete. Yeah, there you go. Maybe we're right. Maybe we're wrong. Um, so anyway, this is uh, from the from the very start of the game. You know exactly the right move that you have to make. So two computers playing against each other would be terribly boring. Um, but with 2048, it, there are so many moves and it branches so much that you can only analyse a few yeah. moves down from the, from, the, from the move that you're currently on. What that means is it's harder to assign values like this. So I can I'd say because I won, I'm going to assign one, because I drew, I'm going to assign zero, because I lost, I'm going to assign minus one. But with two, 2048... You don't know whether you're ultimately going to lose or win. So you have to assign values according to some algorithm, according to some formula. And that's called the evaluation function or eval function. Um, and with 2048, we were saying that it's to do with, um, you know, keep it, basically keeping a big number in the corner and having them decrease uh, you know, w without sort of going up and down. Uh, and then some other strategies on top of that. Um, and, you, and you give them different weightings and, and you, you tweak the different weightings until... Your your program wins the game. Job done. That's it. Excellent.